Hi everyone, welcome to my classroom. Today I want to talk about one of the rules that the head of the village made in the story Wyan and the Turtle King. Let's have a look at the picture. So after Wyan comes back from meeting the turtles, he tells the head of the village what he saw. And then the head of the village calls a meeting. In the meeting, the head of the village makes some new rules. The second rule is don't burn plastic. Do you know why he might say that? Hmm, what's wrong with burning plastic? Well, let's have a look at a few reasons, okay? I want you to think about when you have a barbecue at home. What can you see? Yes, good, so there's usually a flame. There's usually light and heat and smoke. When you stand in the smoke, is it nice? <laughs> no, it's not, right? You get smoke in your eyes, your eyes get red, maybe you cry a little bit, and <coughs> maybe you cough. Okay, so that is air pollution. The smoke is not good for you. It's not good to inhale it. Air pollution can cause asthma, breathing difficulty, and in the worst case, it can make you really, really sick and you can get lung cancer. Another problem with burning things like plastic means that we get CO2. Whenever we burn something, we have CO2 and H2O carbon dioxide and water, that form. What's the problem with water? There's no problem with the water, but too much carbon dioxide causes some problems. First, if we have too much carbon dioxide in, in the air, in the atmosphere, it can cause the ocean to become acidic. This means it's more difficult for the coral to live. Also, another problem with too much CO2 is that the planet gets warmer. Now, usually, trees will take the CO2 and change it, it back into oxygen so that we can breathe it. But there's only so much trees can do. And also, did you know that so many trees are being cut down every day? Trees are like the lungs of the Earth. But I'm sure you knew that already, didn't you? Another problem with burning plastic is that when we burn it, it not just releases toxic fumes, which are bad to breathe, but it also makes ash. What's ash? Ash is the black stuff that's left over after you burn something. This ash could be caught by filters. But even so, small particles come out and they can they can land anywhere but it's not good for you it's toxic in some countries they burn plastic and they make energy from it so that they can use this energy in your house to make electricity it's kind of a good idea but it's a very expensive way to make energy and also even if you use a filter you still end up with toxic ash and you still end up with some warm air going up into the atmosphere none of which is good for our planet can you think of any other reasons well here's a fun project for school your teacher can divide you into teams one half of the class can decide that it is good to burn things and you can research some reasons why. Then the other side of the class, the other half, can research why it's bad to burn things and research, okay? And then you can have a debate. If you want to know more about what happens when you burn things, please use the internet and uh, don't just use Wikipedia, okay? There are so many 
good uh, websites to teach you about this very important topic. I hope that you found today's lesson useful and interesting. And next time, we'll look at why the head of the village said, don't bury plastic in the ground. Have you got any ideas? I can't wait to hear them. Well, from me until next time, bye, bye.